Hi, good people. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what? Uh, today I'm talking about a city um, in Europe that is called Bal. Some uh, people go with Bale, but I'll go with Bal. So uh, this is a small town that has not much going on and it has an estimated population of just uh, 10,000 people. So uh, Bal is an interesting uh, city or it's an interesting town because like information it uh, is a town but within two countries so you might be wondering why so uh it goes that um it happened back in 1995 when uh, whoever were involved in those divisions uh or part of the people who were involved in the divisions like one of them between the two countries uh gave part of his territories to the other because he needed protection and because of that there are 22 territories uh, or 22 pieces of Belgium that are found in the Netherlands and uh, 10 Dutch areas that are found in Belgium and because of that there are almost two of everything so you'll find two beer stores two shops even the town itself has two names we have Bal Hatog which belongs to the Belgian side and Bal Nassau which belongs to the Netherlands side and now uh, we told that these subdivisions happened in 1995 and so when you walk within the town there are crosses which mark the boundaries and uh, because of that you'll be able to tell which areas belong to Netherlands and uh, marked by NL and which ones belong to Belgium marked by letter B this city has what they call the front door rule whereby the front door determines in which country you are in so if your tree is in the Netherlands, then you are in the Netherlands side. If your front door is in the Belgian side, then you belong to the Belgian side. But then there is an exception whereby, because we have cases whereby the borders cross or go through the middle of the front door. So if that happens, then you get to choose which side you want to belong to. But then you have to pay taxes to both countries. So uh, Bal is actually a good example of countries of nations that are struggling with uh, border issues because most of the time we know or we are used to borders being marked by uh, walls, they are marked by electric fences, they are uh, marked by barbed wire, military guns but you see in Bal we only have crosses which mark or which act as boundaries and they have been able to live peacefully with each other. So that's what I had for your insights today. I hope you've been able to learn about this amazing city that is found within two countries that is Netherlands and Belgium. It's my family.